Welcome everyone. My name is CJ Benkino and this is your favorite channel, The Lord of Apps. So today we are going to be creating a responsive a horizontal navigation menu bar. And before we dive in and start creating this, I want to bring to your notice that this was this this particular navigation menu has uh, responsive capabilities. So if I for instance if I resize this browser to a smaller size like it is now, you see that it will transform from horizontal to vertical menu. So for instance, if you are in a smaller device, this is actually how it will look on mobile devices. Right, to transform to vertical navigation menu bar. But well, it's not actually in a vertical navigation bar. So if you guys want to create a vertical navigation bar, I do have a video for it. Check the description box below. I'll add a link so that you can watch the video if you want to create a vertical navigation menu bar. I also made this very responsive. All right, so let's start working now. Okay, guys, I'm going to be using Notepad Plus Plus as my editor, but you guys can use any editor of your choice. So, but the first thing that we're going to be doing now is to create a folder for this. So, find somewhere on your local drive and create a folder for this project. So in our case, I'm going to create this in a folder called YouTube on my desktop. So I'm going to create a folder here for this. And I'll call it, I'll give it a name, Navbar, sorry, Navbar. Yes, actually all the work that we're going to be doing, I'm going to be saving it inside this Navbar. You can see it is empty now. So let's go back to Notepad++. Plus Plus. And the first thing that we need to do now is to add our basic HTML tags. So to do that, you have to type it out. So doc type HTML and HTML again and the next thing is head head tag Close the head tag, and in between this head tag, let us add the title of this website that we are just creating. So let's just call it. Sorry, title, and in between the tab, let's call this responsive. Horizontal nav bar. Just CSS and HTML, and we'll close the title tag. So the next thing is to add our body tag. Open and close the body tag. And finally, we we'll close the HTML tag that we have up there. And before we continue, I want to add the viewport for responsiveness to this website down here. So to do that, what you need to do is just say meta meta name. And content equal to with sorry with equals yes, device minus that with the scale equals 
one for responsiveness. So that is actually the basic HTML layout. But before we continue, I want to save this page, even though we have nothing to show for now. But I want to save it. So to save this page now, you can click on File Menu, Save As, and actually we actually created a folder for this on our on on the desktop. So you will need to locate the the folder where you you, you need to locate the location of the folder. So let me locate the folder where I saved. I think I saved it inside YouTube as a folder. So I'm going to find YouTube now. So I'll find YouTube and inside of YouTube navigation navbar and then I'll save this page inside of it using index dot html and I'll click save. Alright. So let's start building the form now. I'm sorry, the, the 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 navigation menu. So to do that, we have this tag header. Let's open up this header. And before you ask, this is actually available on HTML5. So this is HTML5 semantics. So in between this place, let's add our heading. Let's call it um let's say responsive. Actually, let's copy this. Put there. You should see. Copy it to paste. And we'll close the title H1. And you save and run this. And notice that we have only this for now. Alright? Okay. So next thing now is to create our nav. So to do that we have a tag also available on HTML5 and we'll give it a class name of actually let's call it navbar. And down here we we'll have UL as on other list. And L1, sorry, L1, LI. And within that, you will need anchor tag, href equal to. Let's just add a dummy link here. Close the anchor tag and close the what? The list type. So let's actually copy and paste this to make it faster. V. This one to services and these two products then these two feedback all right and finally we have to close our URL yes Save the page and then refresh your browser. This is what we've got now. Let's have dummy links. All right. All right. Let's go back to our editor. So the next thing I will need to do now is to now style this particular document. I mean, what we need to do now is to now style our navigation menu bar. So to do that, we need to create a new file called CSS. So, to do that, you click on create a new file and save it as 
and into the same folder navbar you need to save that as CSS I mean let's save it as style dot CSS and you can call this anything you like but make sure that the extension is actually dot CSS so and click save and to test things out let us just do body and give you a background of let's say red so if you, if you save control s to save and refresh our page you notice that nothing will happen because we did not actually link that css file to our words our hist our index.html so to do that you need to actually add that here by saying link URL reports style sheets href style dot CSS and use so control S to save hopefully if you refresh the page now you should be able to get the red background so that means that we are successfully linked to our index.html but this is not the kind of background that I want I just wanted to test out to be sure that I'm connected alright so I'll go back to our CSS and take away this background F4, F4, F4 plus a, a light gray background. If I refresh this page, this is what I have now. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do now is so the next thing that I want to do now is to start styling our UL. And to do that, I think we gave it a, a class name of a navbar. So to grab onto this from within our CSS, we need to do with dot navbar. Space UL and we can give it a background. Let's say background, let's say black, All right? And color to be white. Let's save and refresh our bit to see what we've got so far. That is what we've got now. Alright. So next thing is list style type. Sorry. List style. Set it to none. And what that will do is to take away the is to take away those bullet points there. So control S to save. And if you refresh your page, those bullet points should be gone. Okay. And the next thing that I want to add here is overflow. Let's say overflow. Let's set the overflow to hidden. What this will do is to make sure that nothing goes outside of this uh, container. All right. And next thing that I want to add now is I want to set the margin, zero out the margins, and then the padding. And what this will do is to remove the browser's uh, default padding and margin. So control S to save. And refresh your page. And that's what we we'll have now. Thing. And next thing that I want to do now is to work on the list, list items. So let me just put a comment here. Working on the list item. On the list items. Close the comments. So down here. To do that, what we need to do is to say navbar space ul space lr. And we can do something like let's float first of all. Float this to left. And give it a font size. 
of 25 pixels sorry 25 pixels the font width bold or bolder we will do something just to make the text bold this particular line will make the text bigger in size but this one will make it bold so next thing that I want to add now text align center just to center the text Ctrl S to save let's look at what we've got so far here is what we have now so the next thing I want us to do now is to work on the links so I'll put a comment here and say working on on the link on the links so dot navbar sorry navbar space u l space l i space a talking about the anchor tags now so so let's change the color let's change the color of the text by saying color let's give it a white color and let's give it a text decoration So now, and what this will do is to just remove the underline. So let's press save and see what we've got so far. Ctrl S, and here is what we've got. And notice that they are very close to each other. So to separate them now, we can give it a padding. Let's say 14 pixel by 16 pixels. Place to save. Yes, that's okay. And let's add display. Display block. What that will do is to make sure that they are floated to each other very well to save so let's refresh our brother to see how it looks very nice okay and next thing I want to do now is a kind of add border to this I want a, a vertical line that will divide these links down here so to do that let's go back to our CSS we'll add it here at the this place we'll add it under here by saying border right border dash right let's say two pixel solid um solid white let's say solid white all right so let's save and refresh to see what we've got if you go back to your browser and refresh, so we now have a vertical line dividing each of them. But I would like to remove this last one that is here. Thinking about this, and to do that, let's go back to our, our, our let's go back to our editor. So to remove that last border, what you need to do now is let me copy this let me bring this up a piece so I will see it so let's say control V and we'll do this last child last dash child and what I mean by this is that I want this I want the browser to look at the let me go back to the browser. 
I want you to look at this. This actually, this link is the last child among this. This is the first child, second child, third, and then the last child. So the last child from this is what I want to apply these ties. So to do that, you can see if I do border right. None. I set it to none. That should that should actually remove that last particle line. So if I refresh this page, and here yeah, it is gone. All right. That's good. So next thing that I want us to work on now is the, the Hoover effect of it. So I will add a comment here. Say working on the Hoover. I will add a comment working. On the Hoover effect, I just call it that. Close the comments, and to work on that now, you can copy this, paste it right here. See, a and we'll add a is to. Hoover. So, for instance, and what this does is that anytime someone brings his cursor close to any of the link, whatever style that we're going to apply to that should take effect, something like change color or things of that nature. So, let's go ahead and add something over there. So, we can just say color, we can give it any color, you can give it any color of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and give it this color. I'm gonna go ahead and give it yellow. And the background. To be blue. Ctrl S to save. Refresh your page. And here we go, we now have a hoover effect. Okay, so let's go back to our editor. So that is it. Another thing that I want us to work on now is the, the active. So to do that, we can copy this. Control S, I mean Control C to copy. And let's put a comment here and say, Working on the active links. So let me paste what I just copied. So this and we'll change this to active. Okay. And we can give it a color. Maybe black and then a background, background color of background color of green. So let's save and see what we've got in our browser. Refresh, and when you click on it. I don't know whether you guys notice this, but you see that the background changes, it flashes into green and with a white text color. Okay, so that is actually what it means by changing the active links. Alright, the next thing that I want to work on now is the focus link. So I'll copy this, but I'll copy everything here and edit. V and I'll say work on the focus. Change this to focus and change this to focus. Sorry, focus. And we can give it another background, I mean another text color. Say green and Change this to this color C C six 
ff one a control s to save and let's see refresh your browser and anytime you click on it this is what we got so anytime you click you can change the background color or whatsoever you want to change all right so let's go back to our editor So finally, what we need to do now is to now make this navigation um, a menu that we've just created responsive. The way that it is now, if we go ahead and then ref I mean resize this, you see that it will not be responsive on mobile devices. All right, this is not actually this is actually how it will look the way it is now on mobile devices. We we'll need to work on it a bit better. All right, and to do that. We use what we call media query to do that. So let me add a comment here. For example, let's say making it responsive. All right, and and to now start making it responsive, you need to do this. Say at media format it like a function. Say max width, max width. Let get, let's say for instance, when is under this setting width 768 pixels, that whatever styles that we're going to apply to it here should take effect. So, for instance, all we need to do now is let us take the nav bar. So, nav. Number UL LI So what I want to do now is to first of all remove the border this border I will have right there sorry border right set that border right to none and the next thing I want to do now is to display them in block. And what that will do is to put them just on top of each other. Then I will also have to remove the floats. I don't want it to float to any direction. Let me just bring this, sorry. Yeah, floats. None. Come to save. Refresh your browser. No response. Okay, sorry. You need to actually resize the, the menu here. You need to resize the browser to be able to see this effect. So this is how it will look on mobile device. Okay. See, so once it gets down to a certain width, it turns into this. Alright, let's go back to our editor. There's something else I want to add. I want to add um, a border button. Border bottom. Let's see. Two pixels. Solid red. You can use any color of your choice. So if you save and refresh, you won't see it, but if you resize the browser, it comes in play. So you see it? See it. So the next thing that I want to do now is that I want to remove this last border. I want to take it away. That's not I don't want it there. Right. And to do that, what you need to do is to and to remove that last layer border. What you need to do is let me just copy this, as you see, and paste it right here. Actually, let me bring this up so that you guys will see it well. Do this and say. 
this now bar and I want to remove it from the last side. So what I'll need to do now is to do this. Say last child. Say it last child. And I'll do border button. Set it to none. And that should remove the, the bottom border. If I refresh this page and still resize it, see that the last one does not have that this particular red line any longer. Okay. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do now is to just space this out a little bit. And to do that, you can just go back to this place and add padding. Let's see 12 pixels. Press to save. And there we go. So this is what we have now. Congratulations. I've actually successively created a, a navigation menu from scratch. Alright, in the description box below, I'm going to leave a link where you can actually go and download this code if you want to use it. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Alright.